Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, this is not a post-commentary, actually, because I've checked that my microphone is working this time, it is not muted. Uh, I had a word with the microphone mainframe, and let's just say it won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, my gun is the same color as the screen, so let's look at the description. This is Funneling Around by Creepix. Difficulty, easy. Hardiness, 30%. I guess it's okay, but some people may not like the third room. I never have used an excursion funnel as a puzzle element. Connection management doesn't count. So, I decided to try it. I tried, and this was created. Probably not my best, but I think it's still good. Sometimes the cube can pass through a grating if it's really close to a portal surface and the cube is filling in an excursion funnel. Please ignore that. Yeah, that's called the Great Glitch. Good luck, and enjoy slash leave your comments and ratings slash whatever. Hashtag bmod. Is it really necessary to put this in every time? Uh, I don't think it's necessary at all. <laughs> right, well, let's just jump straight into it. They ask for feedback, but how to use funnels. Me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. What the heck is this? Is this some kind of- is this the kind of joke? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to jump up each and every step? <laughs> we have plenty of room to make a normal staircase here. Alright, whatever. What is this music? Is this music in the description? Um, this music is not in the description. So, I will not be listening to it. What am I supposed to do here, actually? Uh... I have some questions. Really? That's what you want me to do? Okay, so right off the bat, you can remove this entire first section of this map here, because this is absolute time-wasting. There's no reason to ever do this in a map, unless you're, like, teaching players who've never played the game how to do this. But this is just an annoying nuisance that you should never do. Alright, well, we might as well get started with it. All the way up these steps. Looks like the exit is up there, so we'll want some... I guess the funnel, maybe? Oh, actually, I should... let me pre-place this portal into a convenient position. Actually, you know what? I can shortcut this. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Still unnecessary. Hmm... I might have made a mistake. How am I supposed to get back out of here now? That wasn't what I meant to do. I have to start over anyway. There's not really a way... Oh wait. Hold on a sec. Is this what you want me to do? Is that- is that really a thing you want me to do, huh? It's been a while since I've seen a map require this. It's clever, but it's still a time waster. Which side is this on? It's on this side, excellent. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Right, so let's head up these stairs, and... promptly... retry this. Oh, crap. That's got grading on it. Um... Exactly how am I expected to use this funnel in any meaningful way? Um... Is there something I'm missing? Is there like an upper area that I'm not seeing? 
Yeah, can't go through there at all. What the heck am I missing here? Really? I don't understand what I'm missing here. This is, uh... quite strange. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so... Let me not remember. Remember is the wrong word to use, but I realize now what I need to do. I just need the funnel for a height. I don't actually need it in that room at all. Alright, let's get to time wasting. There we go. Where to next? Honestly, I think that whole first area was kind of a waste of time. But we'll see. Alright, that does that. We have a graded funnel. That's not too useful. What is up here? Alright, we can't go up there just yet. Come on. Uh, let's try this in a bit more of an intelligent way. There we go. That's how you get up here. We have a button. Alright. That goes to the exit, so we need a cube for that. Clearly. Let's head across. This supposedly drops a cube. There we go. That's our cube. What does this do? Ah. Alright. Hold on, answer some questions. Although... <laughs> from a distance, I didn't really understand that that went to the funnel. Um... I think there's some better ways to do the signage. Whatever. I guess it works. Come over here, cube. And then we'll... we'll put you up there by hand. There we go. So is this... No, I don't think that's the great glitch that he was talking about. I'm pretty sure it's just a normal rate glitch and I'm just like, overanalyzing it or something. Oh, well that's not at all what I wanted to do. Get back here. Get back here! <laughs> how did I... how did I screw that up so badly? Wow. Just totally shot the wrong thing. Alright. Let's put that there. Bam. That should be good. Not entirely sure if I did that as intended. So far, not really a puzzle yet, just walking around pushing buttons. But we'll see. I'm sure the puzzle's just up ahead. Wow. Now that... That is not a change in lighting, that is just Chell's eyes adjusting to the sheer brightness of the scene here. That is so bright. That kind of reminds me of, uh, my- my map, my most recent map, A Light from the Heavens. What do we have up here? Okay, just a decorative hallway for no reason. <laughs> it's so bright in here, you can't see the portal edges clearly enough. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you use too much light. That the portal edges become not very defined. I'm not actually sure why that happens, to be honest, but it's a thing that happens. Supposedly the exit's up there? Or something? I suppose we're gonna find out... eventually. Oh, what do you know, it is up here. With even more light! That wasn't even the exit, that was just the door to the next area. Alright. I'm glad it wasn't the exit, because we haven't had any puzzles yet. This looks like a puzzle. We have... There we go. Am I supposed to be able to do that? I almost feel like I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Or maybe- maybe I am, and that's just to fizzle any objects that come through. Yeah, I think that's just to fizzle any incoming objects. 
Got a nice little toggle button. We have this. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. They don't auto-respawn. I would grab another one, but it doesn't auto-respawn, GLaDOS. Am I supposed to do this? Hmm... Then what? Do I need to... do like that? And then... I'm not- I'm not particularly a fan of these from a distance puzzles. Where you have to, like, use the portal gun to manipulate stuff with funnels from a distance. I mean, you would- you would think it's a cool concept? You would think it would be a cool concept, and I've actually tried it myself, but in the end it just becomes a pain, because it's hard to see what you're doing. Oh, that's a conductive plate. Okay, I was wondering how that ant line re related to anything. Uh, I guess they just placed their portal somewhere else, right? Yep, conductive plate. Oh, and that's the exit. Alright, so... There wasn't a single puzzle in this map, actually. There was just walking around pushing buttons. Um... I'm trying to think. See, I'm- I'm not actually too good with funnels myself. You'll notice that there's almost no funnels in any of the maps that I've made, and that's because I'm not very good with funnels. If you want to get good with funnels, you gotta play Rectorox's maps, because he is a funnel professional. I'm sure Demon Roots could chime in as well, but man, Rectorox's maps have been the ones that I always think of when I think of funnel maps. He can use funnels in ways that I don't even think about. I often forget the way he uses funnels. <laughs> They actually are one of the harder elements to use, but they're- they're a great puzzle element. I just wish I could- I just wish I had more advice for you other than go play Rectorox maps, but... I'm sorry, I don't. I really don't know how funnels work. Either way... This is not a puzzle. So, as always, you thank you so much for watching. Average. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!